the changes are quite significant to most T-Van conscious people you probably be like well it still looks like a T-Van well yeah um, we've sort of got that mixture right and it, it's running quite well for us so far but we have listened a lot to customer feedback over the years and this is probably our most significant change and upgrade and it's right across the unit so what we'll do we'll just start by uh, pulling the cover off <laughs> so, as you're probably aware, one of the biggest strengths of the T-Van is at any point in time you can get into the back of it. You don't have to fold down the deck, you don't have to set up the tent, you just crawl straight in. We've decided to play on probably the biggest strength of a T-Van and make it better. So I'd like to introduce to you the new rearward lift-up deck. Oh. Alright. So, at any point in time you think we want to pack the van, get access into the back of it, you now can. You don't have to fold down the deck. This is probably uh, significantly more advanced than you would think. <laughs> Quite difficult to do, but we've achieved it by creating a second mechanism that could bolt onto any of our Mark 5s and basically allow you to point the deck skyward. Other improvements include inboard springs. So we've gone from the external springs to the sides to new torque springs in here. And these points are adjustable. So you will have seen on the back of the unit, we have max tracks. You can now carry up to four of those. And if you tell us you're carrying four, we change the position of this spring and it helps lift the deck up more easily for you. So we can now make it uh, a little bit easier and a little bit more comfortable to work on. Coming inside the van, we've actually been a little bit cheeky, you'll note we've got a new fiberglass roof here at the far, far bed end, and that's got approximately 100 mil more head height. So we've achieved that by replacing the entire mould, and at the same time we're also now fitting standard a 120 watt solar panel on the roof. All the models got serious power upgrades, so from Tanami up we now have built in DC to DC chargers as standard, and we now have Things like battery management systems with Bluetooth apps that you can play with your phone and see what your battery is doing. Um, but one of the most notable changes is we got rid of the stereo system. You no longer have inbuilt speakers into the van. And the reason for that is because most of you like to listen to music outside. So, we supply it with the Bluetooth dock. And this has got its own built-in AM, FM radio. You plug your USB key in the side, you play music off it, and you can lie in bed and change your songs from your phone. So, and you can take the party with you because it's waterproof. And it floats. In case you take water. We've tested that one. And it also comes with a little safe that you can put your keys and wallets in if you feel like getting in a kayak. Uh, additionally, apart from making it larger inside and fitting these new drawers under the bed, this unit's got a new instant diesel hot water system. So, you know, it says it's instant, it's a little bit quicker than a straight boil unit, and it means you're not carrying a storage tank which saves on space. So it's yeah. a glycol system running through a heater core. Yeah. Uh, it's very, very good in that sense. What model does that go up to? Uh, that's standard on a Murrinjai model, but you can have it on any other model as well if you'd like. Um, additionally, you probably noticed you all had ice cream last night. That was thanks to the dual lithium batteries that we're now running in the back of this van. So we have two 90 amp hour lithium batteries, one either side, and, and that's a pretty good little feature. So what I'll do is I'll close the back and then we'll start talking about the improvements to the deck and show you what we've done there. What's its height like compared to the Mark III? It's roughly, uh, inside you've got a hundred mil more head height, no, I mean, but so we've raised, we've only raised the front of the roof, so we haven't increased the height. However, we have installed a new quick erect awning, which we'll take okay. you through in a moment. Yep. So, what Dave's showing you now is the new deck. Sorry, deck legs? Yeah. yeah. So on the sides, we've got new deck legs. These are actually built into the van and are stored inside the deck. And they're using quick connector pins, which allow us to slide the deck leg into position and then automatically lock them. Nice. So no more do you have to go to your side and the rest of your deck legs. Nice and nice and long. Uh, you'll also see we've got much larger bump stops on the back. That's to accommodate up to four of these max tracks when you fold it down to the ground. So we'll let these two pull it down. All right. 
So, the deck, you're used to a C-channel construction. We're now bonding panels of aluminium and steel to the same method that we do for our walls. So the deck is actually a solid piece now. And you'll also see this has got a black coating on it. This powder coat is a slip resistant powder coat. So you can walk around on this comfortably without feeling like you might slip or slide around, which is a vast improvement over the single piece of checker plate that we previously had. <laughs> um, additionally, we've changed the position of the deck legs and the way the deck unlocks. So we're now using protective keys in the corner here. And the deck folds out very quickly and easily and the legs come down to the side. Just lock it in. Now to the keen eye, you probably see a whole bunch of new little black clips all around the deck. We'll get into that in a minute. What I want to do is direct you around to this side of the van and we're going to show you how our quick cover awning works. We decided we'd revisit the concept and we created the new quick cover awning. Dave's just got to pull it out for you now. So the major benefit of this awning is it will operate similar to most conventional sort of quick cover awnings like your fox wings. However, it can be set up without the need for the poles. So you see all we're doing is just telescoping the poles into place and pinching them up and then we've got two points of tension. Is it all Australian made? All Australian made still. Great. This is manufactured by Bartlett's in Ballarat for us, along with all the rest of our canvas work. So, probably, what, what was that, about two minutes? And you set up. There's also another piece that would connect from here to the tent, and then that would ensure that you've got complete coverage from your doorway all the way out. Um, but obviously, on the side of the road, you can now pull up and just basically open your fridge boot or your kitchen. So you can pull it for high winds and things like that? Yes, so we do have poles and Wayne's very kindly brought one over to me here. It's a bit of a special pole, it's a bit kinky. As you can see here, <laughs> the benefit of this pole is once it's threaded through its eyelet and the pole point, it cannot Good. come out. Oh, so for me, it's a little bit tricky because I can't see where I'm working. There we go. But you'll see the top here. It doesn't come out. So all you need to do, telescope it down, put a couple of pegs through its feet and you're done. So that's um, a custom designed pole again for our purposes. Uh, but obviously it means you could set up very quickly and easily and you're completely protected, which is now making what was one of the fastest vans to set up even quicker. Uh, behind me is the premium kitchen. This hasn't changed a great deal because it's already such a good thing. Um, basically what we've done is we've changed all the lighting on the van. So we now have new Narva lights on the sides. We have an LED light under the kitchen to illuminate the ground around where you are. We also now have an optional light on the side above the hatch. So you can illuminate where your doorway is up over here. So that's also another vast improvement. What we'll do now, I'm going to get my helpers to set up the T-Van tent. And I'll take you through all of the new changes to the canvas work there as well. So one of the biggest comments we've got over the years with our tents is that on a cold morning with slightly arthritic fingers, <coughs> utilising the carabiners was quite difficult. So what we've done is we've replaced all of the connection points with new magnetised clips. Now the magnet clips just need to get within QE and they automatically lock into place. Now it is going to take a little bit of getting used to for you guys to not, to not force it into place. But as you can see, basically just self-locates. Additionally to that, we've gone and put adjustable straps on them all. So now you don't have to reach above your head to make the connection points possible. And you can then pull the tent up into place. So it's made setting up and packing up the tent significantly more comfortable for you. Which is a, a hugely important thing to do. So the standard setup of the tent is very similar to what you remember. And those of you who are Mark II owners will see some features on it that uh, haven't existed since the Mark II, which includes an additional set of pockets up above the bed head in here. Oh, yes, yes, I 
<laughs> there it is. About time. The only one, only one with pockets here. A new one with pockets. Yeah, and then additionally, pockets. it's also got a clothesline built into it. Now there's two what Wayne's on doing the side. now is just connecting the tent all the way around the sides. But in a second, you'll see they're going to connect magnet clips all the way to the tent all the way around. Now, what we've done to improve this system is these magnet clips are adjustable. So basically, you can extend them out again get them within two e and it automatically locks onto the clip and now you can basically when it's locked on adjust it and take out the slack and so you can get your canvas floor very taut on the base of the van which previously we were unable to do As you can see pretty straightforward pretty simple and uh, my good looking models are making it look easy as I'm sure all of you would too Probably a lot of you have noticed this. Breakfast bars now have built-in carabiners. Oh, no more knocks. Ooh. I'll show it to the people. You may all bow. Built-in carabiners. The list of changes goes on and on. Inside the cabin, alongside the bed, you've got USB charging points, so you can charge your mobile phone without having to crawl to the other end of the van. We've got new skylights that have got built-in fly screens and sun blockers. We've got new curtains that are magnetised. We've got new LED lights that are brighter and individually switched so you can read in bed and be more comfortable. Uh, the position of the fans has changed. They've been upgraded. The new DO35 coupling is being fitted as standard to the van. Uh, and there are a whole host of new options including 1.8 tonne suspension, front mounted mud flaps to protect your stone, uh, to protect the suspension from stone pitting and you'll even see the curtains are magnetised as well. And so you just get each one of those points with a QE and it automatically snaps on into place. So what I'll let you do, have a bit of a wander, have a bit of a poke, grab one of us if you've got any questions and we'll take you through them all. They are available to order. I will point that out, <laughs> and we do have facility to upgrade you if that's something you would like to do. Thank you very have a bit much. of a look, and thank you very much for your time. Thank you.